I am excited to be with you here today uh, as part of this little snippet doing with Mickey Shook from Carry Trainer. Many of you probably know him from Carry Trainer. Uh, you may or may not know him about his awesome brand here, Gunfighter Gun Oil, which I've had the pleasure of recently being introduced to and actually using. And I tell you, it's pretty awesome stuff. So tell us about Gunfighter Gun Oil. Like, why did you create your own brand of this? Mm -hmm. um, what, what was the goal here? What's uh, what, and also what makes it special? Okay. Well, again, thank you for having me. And let's let's go ahead and open it up right now too, cool. while you're talking about this. And so now we've got it out, so you can handle it and show us what's what. Sure. Oh, we got a sticker too. I want to make sure you guys get the sticker. So, lube and cleaner. We will be sending this needle bottle. Everything made in the USA. So, uh, full disclosure, we did not create this brand. I purchased this brand from a dear friend of mine uh, several years ago who created it, a world-renowned gunsmith by the name of J.T. Timmons. Mm -hmm. And Mr. Timmons loves building firearms, and he was passionate about creating a lubricant that did what no other lube on the market did. What he wasn't passionate about was manufacturing, packaging, marketing, <laughs> marketing, selling. And he was and he just like the conversation we had in the shop about you and your partner knowing each other's roles and knowing yourself, he knew himself. So we we became the sole seller of it through carrytrainer.com and then ultimately we we purchased the brand and since then we've added uh, the cleaner and we've added a grease product. So this is a completely synthetic there's a lot of lubes on the market that are uh, they're sold as marketing. It does some crazy nano, space age, et cetera. This is a good old fashioned POA, which is a fancy word for saying it's a very high quality synthetic lubricant. And the fa like the simplest way to think about lubes and how they work is if this surface of this table was something that we needed to lubricate and my hand was maybe a wear part, like could be like a moving part in your gun, regular oil, like the stuff that you buy most gun oils or motor oil that's not synthetic. At a molecular level, each of the little molecules of the lubricant would be different sizes. So if you took marbles, there'd be a, all over this table, if we smeared this lube and we could see at a molecular level, it'd be marbles that maybe were an inch, a quarter of an inch, two inches, an eighth of an inch. And if you put your hand on there, it would be slippery, but there'd be a lot of areas that, that would be voids between whatever that part was that needed to be lubricated. Mm. High quality synthetic lubricants, what the difference is, the engineers literally create all of those molecules to be the same size. So now we've just put a bunch of half inch marbles. Mm. So now what this surface is, uh, what it does differently for us is it creates what's called boundary lubrication. So between the two parts, whatever it might be, your bolt uh, and your AR between that and uh, the chamber or, or uh, a hammer and a moving part in your in your revolver, you have a complete layer of boundary protection between the parts. So you don't have voids, and those voids end up creating friction. So friction creates heat, heat creates wear, and wear makes things not work right and break. Yep. So super high quality, it creates uh, extreme lubricity, which means that unlike, like you put it in your gun the other day that was getting dirty and it slicked it back up. Would that happen with good old fashioned WD-40? Yep, but it wouldn't last. So this stuff is non-biodegradable, which is scary to some people because the last 30 years we've decided that everything should be biodegradable. There's tons of things in our homes that are not biodegradable. It's non-toxic, it's not poisonous, but why that's important, you slick your shotgun up after duck season, throw it in the gun safe, take it out of the safe a year later, this stuff's gonna still be smooth right. and lube. It's not is, evaporating or mm -hmm. breaking down. Some way. Yeah. yeah, breaking down. No colors, so it looks like water if you look at it in the bottle. It's much thicker than water, but it's, look, it's as clear as water, basically. So there's no colors. That's all marketing stuff, purple, green. That's to make you say, oh, that's my purple stuff that I buy. There's no odors. It doesn't smell like a Christmas tree. It doesn't smell like bubble gum. All that stuff will separate out of the solution and cause gumming in the gun. So it's just the lube. Mm. Awesome. Mm -hmm. And like I said, you know, I had the opportunity to recently start using it. And uh, I mean, it worked great. And, and certainly in my case, it was more of an emergency situation. I had a gun that 
probably had several thousand rounds through it, that you know, since cleaning. Mm -hmm. I try to lubricate every five to 100 to 1,000 rounds or so, you know, kind of depending on how things go. Probably went a little bit beyond that. So the gun sure. started sticking and, you know, it got it running again. I didn't, I didn't even have to clean, just awesome. throw some, some lube on it and uh, we're back up and running. That's that what we needed in the moment, get back to the class, you know, do the thing. I was really appreciative that it included the uh, needle uh, tip applicator mm -hmm. because, I mean, it's super precise, right? I mean, that's that's why you would use this is that it's very, very, got a fine, po uh, fine point or opening there. Um, so that's a, that's a great choice. I mean, is that has that always been a part of Gunfighter Gun Oil? It's or not. Those that... are expensive. It's yeah. made in the U.S. I mean, this little part right here cost me 19 cents, believe it or not, because it's made so, in the USA. So, so don't lose that little red cap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And actually, the fancy word for that is needle scabbard. Oh. Yeah, that's the needle scabbard. But these are this is the same uh, type of product that you would make an IV out of. Mm -hmm. So that's called a lure lock. That. Uh, that allows you to get into those nooks and crannies. And because this stuff is not cheap, you don't want to dump it on things that don't need lube. Yep. I don't need it on the plastic parts on my Glock. I need it on the metal to metal contact. Yep, so you can apply it exactly where you want it, exactly yep. where you need it. And that's exactly what I was able to do with it. I mean, put a little bit in the, into the rails of my slide, a little bit on the rails of the frame, and a couple other you know key points or parts in my gun. And yeah, I mean, very, very clean and precise in terms of application. So re really great choice. Go ahead. Oh, I was just going to, I mean, if you want to continue saying something I was just about gonna, that. What I was going to, the, the other point that we found, so you're about to talk about the cleaner, because this stuff doesn't cook off the gun and because it doesn't just evaporate and break down, when you go to clean your gun, what I found is cleaning becomes so much easier, not, not just because you put that on, this is not a cleaner, but because the carbon and dirt doesn't get to stick to the bare metal it sticks to that so just a rag or a paper towel and it wipes the the gunk away yeah yeah that makes sense makes sense so talk about clean so you mentioned that you added the super cleaner to mm -hmm. the lineup here yes sir. as well as a grease which i have i we just don't have it here on the table today um the cleaner so what's uh what do we got here with the cleaner so the super cleaner super cleaner i work off this premise that you train you are an excellent shooter you teach people to shoot we all are concerned with protecting ourselves. That's the whole reason that we have this gun, protect ourselves, protect our families so we can live long, full lives and be happy. It doesn't make any sense to me to, to have this gun, to train with it and then make myself or my family sick because I'm spraying brake cleaner in my basement or other poisonous, toxic chemicals. Right. And from time to time, yes, we need heavy cleaners. I don't, but people may need something to do some heavy cleaning, some solvents, uh, because it goes against my mindset of training to protect myself. I wanted to create something that's not toxic. So this is a completely non-toxic, again, made in the USA uh, product. It's not a solvent. Uh, it's safe. And of course, you don't want to eat it, but um, this, what we do with this, this little bottle, you could clean hundreds and hundreds of guns with it. You could dilute this up to 100% with, with just good old fashioned clean water. And what I do is I put a little bit on an old toothbrush and I can scrub the parts away. Uh, it is water-based, so I, I, unlike a lot of people, and we've got a video on our website about it, I use warm water and I rinse the gun parts off. Not a gun that's completely put together because you don't want to trap water. A little compressed air, blow it out and lube, lube away. Again, there's no odors attached to this stuff. So hunters, people that are sensitive to those kinds of things, you're not, you don't have any of that toxic stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I appreciated that about it as far as uh, very easy to work with. I, I did use it to clean my gun uh, after the class last weekend. And uh, I mean, you're exactly right. I mean, to me, it kind of was like, well, I'm working with water, but it's not just straight up water. Mm -hmm. And it did a great job cleaning. I did exactly what you just described. I put a little bit on a, like a toothbrush, you know, that comes in a lot of cleaning kits and Scrubbed. scrubbed everything up. Uh, did a little bit of detail cleaning with a smaller brush and a Q-tip and then wiped everything down and applied gunfighter gun oil. It's a, a super surfactant. So it cuts grease, mm. but um, it really eats the dirt up. And it's not, again, not a magical thing. What we've done is we've just created something that goes against the norm, which is I need this heavy, dirty, poisonous substance that I have to have. You don't. That works great. And, and that'll last most people for quite a long time. Yeah. So you guys are getting, was it four ounces of, yep. the, of the super cleaner in your package? You're getting the two ounces of the lubricant 
get the needle applicator with the scabbard, scabbard <laughs> for it. <laughs> but you're also getting a cool little sticker. So that's coming in the package as well. Very exciting stuff. And guys, you should go check out Mickey Shook and his Carry Trainer channel. Uh, you just got done with your S12 yes, sir. training event, uh, which sounded like it went off really well. I've seen a lot of good, good stuff said about it online. Uh, from people that I know and trust. And you have a second event later this year, is yep, that right? November, uh, outside Nashville. It's cool. Yes, sir. So we wish you the best of luck with that. Thank you. Happy training. Thank you. And thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you.